It's Friday, December 14th, 2007. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. The Democrats had their turn at the Des Moines Register debates yesterday, and like the previous day's Republican contest, it had all the excitement of a PBS pledge drive. Except the only free gift anybody got was increased knowledge of trade policy. The Democrats slugged through their talking points and economic and environmental issues with very little. Oh my God, baseball players took steroids. Cut away, cut away. The report on steroids in baseball by former Senator George Mitchell named over 80 players as suspected users, including Roger Clemens and Barry Bonds. And on MSNBC, it was more than enough reason to preempt its debate coverage. Of course, during that debate, I think they could have safely broken in for news that a guy like this took steroids. The debate did have a few fleeting moments of interest. Barack Obama was asked how he could have three prominent members of the Clinton administration on his foreign policy team and still deliver a break from the past. Hillary Clinton laughed at this question, and Obama wittily rebutted that he was looking forward to getting advice from her as well. Clinton's laugh seemed to imply that Obama was drawing from the pool of experience she brings to the table. But if that was the case, shouldn't those former Clinton people be advising her? Finally, another day, another potentially offensive belief from Mike Huckabee. CNN reports that in 1998, the governor and his wife, seen here holding a shotgun, signed a full-page ad in USA Today endorsing the Baptist belief that a wife is to submit graciously to her husband. I gotta say, giving the wife a gun probably mitigates the amount of unwilling submission that goes on. Huckabee points out that the appointed women in his cabinet were at a high level, and as governor, he did a lot for women, but this is yet another issue that should dog him as we hurtle toward the Iowa caucus. Amazingly enough, it turns out that a Southern Baptist preacher who holds political office in a Southern state might take positions that don't sit well in a national election. Who knew? Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook for more stories, including the resignation of the what if people say Obama sold drugs guy. And don't worry, I never took any roids, but I can tell you that under my sweater, I look just like this. Right here on Playbook TV.